Good evening, Houston. I'm David Lee. And I'm Monica Kuhn. Tomorrow we'll be announcing new faces for our spring anchors. In other news, the body of 21-year-old Tiago White has been found dead in a parking garage on 31st in Maine. Truly a horrific sight. Now with our reporters on the scene. Thanks, David. It's truly a horrible scene to behold. As you can see, the victim has broken both of his legs, and there are multiple contusions alongside his right arm. Definitely does look that way, Bob. There's definitely some struggle here, and the victim most likely at the hands of an aggressor. That's right, Veronica. The multiple cuts on his body do seem to indicate signs of a struggle. Sure does look that way, Bob. Indeed it does, Veronica. You can say that again, Bob. So I will, Veronica. The cuts along the victim's body definitely seem to indicate signs of a struggle. You know that's true, Bob. It is evidently clear that this is the undisputed case. You're absolutely correct, Veronica. The victim suffered excruciatingly before he died. He definitely did, Bob. It's just sad to see this level of violence occur in such a chaotic manner. You're absolutely correct, Veronica. It's scenes like this that need to remind us that we should be grateful that we're still alive. They definitely do, Bob. You're absolutely correct, Veronica. I know that, Bob. And you should know that, Veronica. Given that you just commented on it, the fact that we become grateful of life near death seems to be the scenario here, Bob. Taking into consideration what you just uttered, the corpse on screen does seem to suggest that what we're feeling is a feeling of gratitude to be alive, Veronica. After an objective analysis of your well-founded claims on this live coverage from our broadcasting station, I'm inclined to methodically agree with you, Bob. The rational fact that we're both feeling gratitude of being alive indubitably seems to depend on a basic necessity that our soul must satisfy, Veronica. The conclusive statement of our human need for experiencing gratitude gives given the current scene we're standing in, subsequently and subsequently being a necessity that the soul must satisfy in order to prosper, most is most accurately true, Bob. Your most recent comment about my conclusive statement about our human need for experience and gratitude, given the current scene we're standing in, being an indubitably soul prospering, human enhancing necessity does not seem to be a catalyst for what's currently unfolding here, Veronica. <laughs> It's my corpse, Bob! I found it! Oh, God, I hate this job. Um, now, now, now to our animal specialists. Oliver That's right, David. Fire ants. Fire ants everywhere. The fact that fire ants are everywhere is telling of a rise in the fire ant population compared to last winter. Given the fact that last summer the backlog was attacked and blocked up by the ants I talked to, advancing my pants to David on pin- Leighton Green. About to murder somebody. We don't condone that. Yo, it's no, illegal. Not a person yet. Yeah. Don't kill anybody. I don't care what your motive is. Our only wishes that we're not on the list of all your, your accomplices. accomplices. You kill for a subscriber song and we can't figure out why. But maybe give you what you want and we could save a human life. <laughs>